What's up, boys? It's Cade. Um, sorry, I'm still getting over this cold. No sniffles today, but if you hear this little number, <coughs> that's why. Uh, just wanted to shoot a, a quick video on uh, kind of giving my thoughts on this whole no update fiasco, which I really think is is tied into um, the whole crystal update fiasco. Now, most of this comes from uh, a conversation I had with uh, Legs, one of my longtime uh, buddies in the game and Officer on the Scrolls the other night, uh, which kind of put it all together for me. Uh, but we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. So, first of all, I want to talk a little bit, and I've been talking about it on stream here and there, but about how I view the odds in Contest of Champions. Now, let me preface this all by saying I could be wrong. I'm not a statistician. This is all observational. But it's just my theory. Maybe you'll agree. Maybe not. Um, I've thought for a long time that flat rates was just far too simple of a system for Kabam to um, incorporate into this game. <clears throat> not only does it not make business sense, but um, in a, a system that's, you know, a loot box type of system where things are not really regulated in the same way that other um, gambling type things are. So we're not talking about offers, but we're talking about uh, Grandmaster Crystals and anything that you have to acquire units for to end up um, rolling a bunch with no, first of all, no idea of what the odds are, and second of all, no guarantee, no real guarantee that you're going to get something you're looking for. Um, it's really, it's, it's the Wild West in the App Store uh, right now, and Apple's trying to crack down on some of it, of course. But uh, it really is, it's not regulated in any way that really matters um, or in any significant way. And I think because of that, companies like probably Kabam, again, this is my theory, um, have been able to do a whole lot of um, behind the scenes stuff that may be gray hat, let's call it. Um, <clears throat> so, for example, the things that I've always noted, first of all, not all accounts seem to be created equal. Um, now, this is on this account, this is my second time through the game, and on this account, of our first six five-star pulls, uh, one was Voodoo, one was Ghost Rider, and one was X-23. Now, um, on the old account, we had no such luck. No, none, nothing was even close to those kinds of drop rates on the old account. Um, and the old account was, it was okay. There are some accounts out there, and there there's too many of them for me to think it's just statistics, that don't have a single viable duped Labyrinth champion, and they've been pulling forever. It's It seems to me that over a two-year period, three-year period, however long the, the game's been out, three years now, it um, those things would kind of even out. There You wouldn't hear about many accounts that don't have a single viable Labyrinth Champ, for example. So the way I suspect it all happens is there's a value given to each champ behind the scenes, um, and certain accounts have certain values as well, as far as their luck, right? Um, or it ebbs and flows, right? Not a flat rate system, but just sometimes you get a streak, uh, sometimes you get a super, super cold streak. So something like that. There's no way of knowing. Um, I guess maybe you'd be able to data mine, maybe. Uh, I don't know how that works uh, on uh, on crystal pulls, but my suspicion is that there's a lot more going on behind the scenes than that. Now, um, Cam, Mr. Banana Grant in, in game, brought up a good point, because somebody had said, well, then the, the people that don't pull anything would stop playing. Well, First of all, I don't think they do. Some people may retire, but I think what they end up doing is spending units to chase that same content, and they keep chasing champs more aggressively, thinking their number's gonna come in. So, um, come up. <laughs> their number's gonna come up. So, to me, um, that's that's the first one I want to make about uh, players who have bad luck in the game. Second point is, in any business, um, the Pareto principle stands. So 80% of your revenue is going to come from about 20% of your clients. And even 
if you dig into that, it's generally, I was talking about this a few days ago, uh, 64%, I believe, so 80% of the 80% is going to come from 20% of the 20%. So, is that 5%? 4%? So, and you see that with the high-end alliances, with your MMX IVs and stuff, they, they spend so much that Kabam has an interest in in keeping those guys happy much more so than people who who spend very casually um the second thing is when those those accounts that don't pull much see that somebody's getting lucky then they want to chase that as well it's happened to me when they gave out like that five star on the first account when they gave out that five star tech um crystal there's there were only like seven tech champs in there so i had a tech gem i'd been chasing star lord for a long time um, of course, I pulled the Hulkbuster, but suspiciously, it seems like the first few pulls in an alliance on a crystal like that are the luckiest. They pull the, the most desirable champs. You see it with Featureds, too. It seems like the early pulls, the drop rates are slightly better than the, the late pulls. Again, this is all conjecture, so if you disagree, that's totally fine. I'm just throwing it out because that's the way I felt that the system works for a long time some sort of something other than a flat value system where over time everybody should end up with uh, at least a decent roster and some people would get more lucky some less but um, you wouldn't have accounts with a crazy crazy dry spell so really um, as far as and the other thing is I, I also wonder um, how much we're talking about it making business sense how much of their revenue comes from offers and how much comes from the more um, luck-based part of the game, right? The Grandmaster Crystals and all that. And I would argue that now with Grandmaster Crystals, probably more of their revenue comes from that. A lot of people chasing champs. And um, there, there's a an interest, Kabam has a business interest in, in having a system that's a little more complicated than, uh, than that, keeping people um, rolling. And so, um, I think, again, it's been the Wild West when it comes to these crystal pulls. And, um, and I think that's part of the reason um, why Apple's kind of cracking down and why I think a lot of these companies, it's not quite, um, because it's not as regulated, it's not quite as simple as all that. So that brings me to what's happening right now. I think, and this comes from my conversation with Legs, um, that Kabam is really scrambling with these um, drop rate reveals. I think it's the reason we haven't seen an update. They haven't put out an App Store update in the new year, which makes it would make a lot of sense um, that they haven't been able to until they disclose. They haven't. They're not going to be able to push one um, to the App Store. Really, if this was just a flat rate system, it would have taken them an hour to compile a spreadsheet and uh, present it to Apple. Um, of course, I'm not, I don't know all of the information, but to me, it seems like several weeks, because it's been, what, two weeks-ish, maybe, since um, they were told this has to happen in the new year. We still haven't seen an update. We've seen the event quest, but this is the first time since I've been playing the game that the event quest and the new monthly stuff hasn't come bundled in with a graphics update, a UI update. Um... First time I've ever seen it. And again, talking to, to Legs the other day, it kind of all clicked when he said that, that he is suspicious of, of the fact that uh, that's exactly why. Kabam is scrambling, they're trying to figure something out, um, and that's why we haven't seen an update. Now, this is the, that's, that's the bad news, right? Oh, we don't have a, a UI update, so not a big deal. The good news is we may start with the next App Store update seeing a much more even playing field, which is my big hope for everything. Because as, as lucky as we've gotten on this account, the old account absolutely never really got lucky to any any degree, even close to that. Um, and I'm not complaining because at least I had a, a Labyrinth champ. There's people that have abysmal pulls and I always feel for them because it's not absolutely not fair that it should happen that way um, that somebody should spenders non-spenders uh, should just have that kind of quote-unquote luck uh, on an account like that so 
The good news is we should in 2018 start seeing a much more even, hopefully, uh, system. Something that kind of starts um, over time, even if you have some bad luck at first, uh, ends up um, ends up rewarding you, and you end up with at least a decent profile if you haven't uh, haven't had that. And maybe you start seeing fewer of the super stacked accounts that seem to get uh, nothing but good pulls. But either way, it should be a more even playing field, which is so important for everybody that's been uh, that's been having a hard time um, pulling anything anything worthwhile. So really, that's my that's my theory. That's my um, theory on on why we don't have an update on. I, I'd wanted to put out a video on this, um, the way I see the crystal system um, and the the luck system in this game uh, for a while. And I think this uh, the fact that we haven't seen an update and uh, this little my little take on it um, really uh, it, it was it was the right moment to to kind of. Um, put all this stuff out but more importantly I'm, I'm super curious what you guys think do you think that it's all flat rates uh, do you think that it's just a matter of there's just it's such a vast system um, that Kabam is just trying to get everything together put that in the comments I, I'm really curious again this is all it's just my theories and I think um, I, I obviously could be wrong on all of this stuff but what I've observed over the two years playing this game old account new account is that it doesn't seem to be a flat rate system and it makes a lot of sense that they might be scrambling right now uh, and um, the fact that we haven't seen an app store update to me points to that so conclusion hopefully better polls in the new year hopefully everybody gets um, gets much better luck if you haven't had luck and um, here's hoping for a more even keel system thank you guys so much for watching sub if you're not subbed uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope to see you on one of the live streams. We live stream every single day on the channel. Alright boys, I will talk to you in the next video. Take care.